Hello everyone, today we are going to solve linked list in a binary tree. So in this problem, we are given a linked list, let's say 4, 2, 6. This is our linked list and we have to find that linked list in our binary tree. That if you find, so this 4, 2, 6, this is present, this is our linked list. So we have to check that if this linked list is in our binary tree. So how do we find this? So you have to make sure that this should be continuous. If my 6 is like this, if 6 is here, so we can't say that this is our list. This is our list. We can't say this. Okay. So our linked list must be in this downward direction and continuous. So now let's understand how we can solve this problem. So we have two things. We have in our function, we have two things. One is our head and one is our root. One is our head and one is our root. So what we will do, what we will do from here, first of all, I will check that if my head is empty, if my head is null, if I have this, so this is already present. I can say this is present in my link list. So if it is null, then I will say return true. Otherwise, if my head is, if my root is null, if my root is null, then I, it will be null or anything. In uh, it, it will be, uh, if, if my head is not null in that case, it will return false. Okay. If my head is, if my head is null, then I will return true. And if my root is null, if my root is null, then I will return false. Okay. Now after that, these are the two cases. After that, if this are, both of them is not null, in that case, what I will do? I will check is this my root, is this my first value or not? If it is first value, if it is first value, then what I will do? First of all, I am checking this one equals to four. No, one is not equals to four. So I will call, I will call my left or right. So first of all, let's call me right. So what is right? This four. So I will call this four and wait. I will call this uh, head is four and this root is also four. So now from here, from here, what I will do? I will check is this four is equals to four. Yes, for this equals to 4. So now what I will do, if my word is matching, if my value is matching, then I will increase my head, point my head to nest. What does it mean? That I have find 4. Now let's see that do we have 2 and 6 in its nest element or its children. So now let's see if I find this. So what I will do? Now I will not uh, sending this 4. I will sending its nest element which is 2, it's 2 and its children left is 2. So now I can say, yeah, this is also true. So I will point my nest to 6 and then I will call 6 and 6 and 1. So from here, from 6 and 1, what I will say? I will say that it is not true. It is not true. So it will return false. It will return false. So it will check its right, but right is null. So this will, if right is also null, if root is null, I will return false. So from right also, it, it will get false. So my 2 get false from here and false from here. So if it get false, so it will also return false. So it will return false. So if it gets false from here, there is no null. So this root is null. So it will also return false. So all of them returning false. So it will return false. So what I can say, what I can say that is left returning false. So it will check its right. So its left is returning false. So it will check its right. So its right is again 4 and if it is false, so it will send its head. So it's sending its head. So how do it send? For sending head, please check this 4 equals to 4. Yes, it is. So it will call its 4 and 2. Oh, sorry. This will be 2 and our nest node is also 2. Now what will happen? Then after 2, it will go to, uh, because from left it get false. So if it left from it get false, so it go to its right, which is 2 and 2. Now it will first go to left, uh, its left and this left will give it 6 and head is also 6. Head is also 6. So yes, this is true. If this is true, then it will go to its left. It will go to its left. Now what is this 6 nest? This is null. This is null. What does it nulls mean? That we have traversed our list and we find our list. We traverse our list. What does it mean? That we find all the nodes in the continuous downward manner. If we found it, then we will return true. So right now I will return. This is my null and uh, sending my, this is also null. 
but I will not check this root. If my head is null, I will return true. So this will return true. This will return true. If it is returning true, then we will not check anything. If it is returning true, we will return true. And this will return true. And finally, it will return true. That means we have this link list in our stream. So now let's check out the code and analyze the time and space complexity. So here, what I am doing is first of all, I am checking if my root is null, then I will return false. Otherwise, what I will do, what I will do, if my root value is equal equals to head value, if it is, then I will check my is path. I will do this function. And what does it function check? This function check, does do we have a link list or not? How? It will check continuously. Our head nest value should equal to root children. Head nest value should equal to root children. And if it is, then it will go to its uh, left or right. What does it mean? If my root value is equal to head, so if nest either is left, either from left or right, I have my root nest value. If it is, then it will return true. If not, then it will return false. Okay. So this how I will find my uh, link list. And what does this do? This is checking which if I got any node. So from here, if this is not four, this is four. So for this four, this function will again run. This function will again. So this will check the first node, the first node, which will equals to our head value. So this is my simple solution. And what will the time complexity? If you see, if you see, what will be my time complexity? So time complexity will be n into max of max of my height or height of this. So what is this? What is time complexity of this? This is our of height of height. So it the max will how it can be go. It can be go to max of our height of binary tree. Okay. Or it can go to the max of link list. So if my list or height, whichever is maximum, it will go to that and this will go to off and so I can say my max uh, worst time complexity of and into max of this and what will be my space complexity? My space complexity of doing this will be of and so I hope you understand the solution and the intuition. If it helps you, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.